Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you how to draw this, which would be really easy, I think, even for a beginner. I am going to, let's go to the center of the page. I'm going to take a rectangle. No, I'm going to take an ellipse first. Doesn't matter what size, I'm going to make this one 10 inches. And I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now I need a rectangle that's only five to make everything equal. And I am going to grab it with the four point cross till it snaps right there. I'm going to change my nudge factor to five. I'm going to hit the plus key and make an, a duplicate of that. Now I'm going to cut out these lines that we do not need. And I'm going to get that shape kind of a weird shape. You would think it would never do anything, but it does. Now here's kind of the key to doing this, to getting it to match up perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and left click, right click. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to rotate it basically in negative 90, so 270 degrees. We need these two to be on the same plane up top. So I'm going to hit the T like in Tom for top. And then it's really kind of, you can either hold down the control button and move it over because we want it right on the money. I would get it close, you know, because it's not going to really snap there. I'm going to go 0 0.001. Oh, that's too much. 0 0.01. Grab that. Zoom in and grab one of them and just it looked like I was going up. Let me let me back up. I wasn't doing something right. Tell you what, let me do this again. T like in Tom. See, that's going to bring it. It doesn't look like it's going to fit. Now let's change our 0 0.01 and nudge that over. Now you could use a control button. To appear to look like it has one line. Let's double check that. That's a little bit too much. And we're good to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to control G to group them, control D to duplicate, and then mirror them both directions, horizontally and vertically. And then move these down. And now this will be a little bit easier to snap to because you've got a lot to snap to. Well, it should be. We're off somehow. And see, these two need to be the same. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit L because that's going to put them on the same plane. And then I can nudge, nudge these, nudge one of them down. Ah, let me do it again. I had to, when I'm not looking at the keyboard, I'm going to go L to put them to the left. And then I'm going to do the down arrow key to that's more like a one line deal. I am now going to group this together, control G and hit P, put it in the center of the page. I only need one of these, so I'm going to fill in one. I can actually delete everything now, everything else. Just take this and go ahead and use your interactive fill tool. But I went on that very corner, I want some black. So I just grab in some black. To me, it's too much black, so I'm going to add some red closer to it. I just want a tip of that. Now we're working in the center of the page, so I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and move our rotation to there. If you don't hit that X when you're double clicking, sometimes it'll do that. Now I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, control D, 180 degrees, and then control D. And there you have that product. Um, there's a lot you can do with it. Um, it's just kind of fancy. I think on this one, I'm actually just a hair off on my nudging, but we could still, you know, if unless it has to be perfect, you could nudge after the fact and nudge that one to the inside, just to get rid of that white line. I need to figure out a better way to have that snap to there. And you know what? I think I just found it somehow, maybe with these crosses, because I don't like that at all. It doesn't meet up. I might have to make another video. There we go. Anyway, you get, you get it to work 
if I figure out how to wait up to have it snap to a better origin, maybe I can get it to work. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit, and thank you for watching.